hear that? That chirping? That's the sound of spring. Yes, the birds are chirping, the sun is out, I'm in a tank top, I'm happy, I'm happy. So tonight, tonight called me. They called me and told me they would like for me to host the next two shows. You know, in my last video I mentioned how I did miss tonight, tonight, and maybe I'll come back. But I do miss tonight, tonight, and I know the cast missed me as well. But maybe, you know, I won't be the host this time. I might come back as the director, you know, maybe just direct tell people what to do i'm pretty good at that yeah i never thought i was going to be the host for the next two shows again i mean considering when i was the host i didn't even feel appreciated i felt a lot of tension animosity and hate coming from a certain member of the crew but i took time off you know the sun is hitting me right the melon is glistening and i'm ready to be back on that camera it's officially spring I'm ready to strut my stuff and show them everything that I've got. You know, at first I wasn't gonna come back, but then I thought about it. You know, I do love being on the camera and I do love working with people. So why not give it another chance? You know? But if I do come back and host tonight, tonight, I don't want any animosity from none of the other people. I want everything to run smooth and we'll see how it goes. Tonight, tonight, I'm coming for you. I gotta get out of here. I mean, yeah, I'm graduating, but it's not enough to pay the bills. I need this job, but I don't want this job. Please help me. I applied to so many jobs throughout the semester, and I still have not heard anything. I hope to hear something. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'll probably be here forever. episode of the behind the scenes look of what it takes to write the script for the Tonight Tonight Show. I know I usually film it in my room to get the juices flowing, get the ideas and everything, but I figured since Janice ruined the last few days of my spring break, I'm just going to come to the office and see if she's here and hash it out, see what her problem is and everything. Oh my gosh. So that note that I decided to write to let everyone know that I was off is vandalized. Do you know who wrote this? I bet you I know who it is. It's Janice. So I'm gonna go see her break. No! Look who sent me the script at 4 a.m. once again. When will she learn? Hey, uh, I think Melissa's here. Finally. I'm gonna confront her. I'm gonna confront her. This has to stop. You know I told that my note? What note? The note after my door. You mean the door for the office that you're never in? Doesn't matter, you don't write on it. First of all, let's not throw things. Would you like to speak? Yes, you wanna talk? I guess. Hey, so I was browsing the internet rather than working. There you go again, Taylor, being inefficient. No, this is serious. Okay. So like I said, I was scrolling through the internet and not doing work and I came across your social media page. And what? I came across your social media page. Okay. And I didn't realize that you were going through that much stress in your life and I am so sorry that you had to work with me and I caused some of it. Is there a possibility that we could start over? Wow, Taylor, that's really mature of you. I was actually thinking about biting your head off because you weren't working, but I'm glad you understand why I've been so snappy. And I apologize that I did not communicate with you properly. Yes, we can start over again. Thank you. So how's your day? My days are really stressful. People canceling, not returning my phone calls, and all that stuff for the show. You know what? It's a nice day outside. It sounds like you're stressed. Maybe we should go and get a drink. It's springtime. That sounds nice. Okay, let's go. So how's your day been? Crazy, but let's talk about you for today. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean they can't come? 
right? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Okay, bye. So? So, they canceled. Hmm. That's okay. We'll find somebody else. All right, it doesn't matter. Taylor, you know I'm graduating this May, right? Mm-hmm. I just have so much work to do. It's driving me crazy. Do you need me to help you with any of it? Yeah. This week's show, for one, would help. Sure, I got it. No problem. Taylor, you're the best. These are the things I need done. Okay. I could do it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I got it. Yeah. Wait, is she using me or am I overreacting? I just had to sit down with Melissa. She's pretty cool. She's not a jerk and, a, you know, somebody lazy like I thought she was before. So we just got back from lunch. Weren't mm -hmm. the tacos good? Perfect choice. I'm mm -hmm. glad we went with tacos. They're really good. Couldn't handle spicy, but I dealt okay. through it. <laughs> I dealt through it. Aren't um, you happy we can go to lunch now and that we're friends? I know. We worked things out. I know. No bring more it fighting. In, bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm totally glad we're friends. And I know mm -hmm. the show is ending soon. Yeah. Um, this is our last blog post. <laughs> um, but we'll still be friends yes. after this. Wanna hang out after this? Yeah. Well after my work shift. Right, you gotta do your work first. Yeah. <laughs> See Janice. Ah! I love her. Um But yeah. yeah. We'll hang out after this. This is proof that problems can be resolved just by talking. Communication is key. I learned that, we learned that. Right. You don't have to send emails to your boss or Report nasty me. text messages. <laughs> they report you. Yeah. Yeah. All right guys, so it's our official signing out. See ya. Bye. This is crazy. Tonight, tonight, call me back, and no one's even here. Where the heck is everyone? I don't see any writers, editors, producers. None of the cast is here. How could you call me to host something and nobody's here? What am I gonna host? There's no script. There's no nothing. It's literally empty. These people are fired. Feeling unappreciated. I'm gonna have to do this whole thing myself. I'm gonna go out and interview everybody. I guess I'm gonna have to direct and host tonight. Well, I can't find anyone. I guess I'm gonna have to be the editor, director, everything. Maybe even the writer. I'm gonna go find some people on campus and see what they like to do for spring. So I guess my favorite thing to do in spring is just, since it's not cold anymore, just, you know, to go out, walk around, and just have a good time. My favorite thing about spring is my birthday. My favorite thing about spring is probably the smell of a fresh, but like the first bonfire. You know, like like when you step outside at night and it's like the first bonfire you smell of the year. It's like the greatest thing ever. My favorite thing about spring is the weather. My favorite thing about spring is just like the sun and being able to go outside and hang out with my friends and enjoy the nice weather. Look who this is, Caroline and Frank. And what are they up to? It was so beautiful today, so I wanted to go outside, but I didn't want to go outside by myself, so I dragged Frank with me. Come on, it's nice out. I want to play. There was some struggle, but I got it. Surprisingly, Frank wanted to do 
something too. No. Senioritis is a real problem in this class. Still can't find anyone. You know what? I'm thrown in the towel. I'm a senior too. I don't need this. Senioritis. I've been checked out way before senior right, senior year. Just get me out now. I've been in school for like most of my life. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. Everything's been very overwhelming, very repetitive, and I think it's just the time where I need a vacation and I just need some space. Honestly, I just want to be home. There was work. <laughs> um. Honestly, because I'm a senior and because I found out that I'm getting a job and I don't really need these classes anymore. I mean, what else do you have to learn if you're getting a job? You need to learn when you're working. So, yeah, I definitely checked out. I just want to have these last few minutes at college with my friends. Uh, yeah. The senioritis is real. I don't want to do anything. Uh, it's a Caroline. Without a doubt, Joe. Oh, Joe, that kid. Melissa. <sighs> Danji, she thinks she has the entire thing in control. She doesn't. She sucks. She, she directs me out too much. I like to stay inside. I mean, he wants to direct everyone to do everything, but, you know, he never steps up to the plate, so I'm not trying to work for him again, no. Joe is not on my good list. Cause she doesn't do any of her like stuff. I know I wait till the last minute to do my work, but at least I do my work. And she always wants to get drunk. Well, like I said, I got a job, but that means I have to move. So I don't know who I'm living with. I don't know where I'm living. I don't know how I'm gonna start adulting. Like, I, I, I really don't know. Um, but we're gonna roll with the punches and we're just gonna see what happens. Hopefully find a job that's, you know, all tech, uh, some, some place where I can uh, stay indoors and uh, avoid uh, as much contact as possible. Uh, hopefully something in the media business. Maybe not right away, so I'll look back into waitressing and then continue looking for media stuff. I have a few jobs lined up in the city, New York City to be uh, specific. Uh, hopefully that pulls off. Otherwise, I'll probably just be laying in cardboard box. Legit, the worst spring ever. How are you supposed to even know what to wear? Literally, I just had on a tank top yesterday, and now I'm in a jacket. This is crazy. Well, you know, I like to wear the standard stuff. Uh, the, the regular t-shirt, maybe flannel, right. shorts, and of course flip-flops. Or sandals, I guess. The usual, I like to be free, but not totally free. Like, I, mean, I'm not, I don't wear shoes or sandals, I just wear socks. That's it, just socks. Well, I like to let my piggies breathe, so. Even in the rain, I just wear socks. This, you know, this is what I wear, this is who I am. Either a jacket that has a hood, or bring an umbrella. Don't be like me. I have a jacket, a scarf, a hat, gloves, a long sleeve shirt. The struggle is real because when it rains, I just get soaked. Worry about that later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.